Six foot shooting guard with a 44 inch vertical. You gotta go back 20 years to top that. Which one easy. thing? Posterized. From the Indiana Pacers, Cassius Stanley. Who had more dunks last year in college than this man? As Keith Sweat would say, nobody. From the New York Knicks, Obi Toppin. He's from Altamonte Springs, Florida, which means he knows he's like to live in the sunlight. He will watch Dwight Howard and Aaron Gordon. Tonight, he gets his chance to shine. For the Portland Trailblazer, Anthony Simon! Well, there's two field goals, I know. Yo, Kenny, this is going to decide home ball for, hold on. Go get that young boy! I told you, Cassie, he didn't come to play. He didn't come to play. He didn't come to play. Will score dunks in the first round, okay? On, and each and each shot will oh, miss two dunks. This is what I'm saying. Look at the air time that he has in there. First dunk, no warm up, no sweat. All four. Setting the stage. Left hand. He's doing what Steph Curry did in the three point contest, putting a little fear in everybody. But I've watched Cassius play. I'm from LA area. He went to Sierra. I think his size might hurt him. No. He won't show. Oh, oh, oh. I like it. I mean, oh, I like it, Kenny. That, that was beautiful. Come on, that, Kenny. Was, that was beautiful. A bounce that was, leg that was on the way up. First dunk. But this is this look, is a special dunk. Bounce on the way up. Yeah, that's right. That was that look that's was from the it. from the AT and T 5G above look, the rim. Kenny. Bounce between the legs. Reverse tomahawk. That's, that's that, probably an eight on, nine. That's a ten. If, if if Zach Levine didn't do that last week in the layup line. Go <laughs> <laughs> feet. Go get that. He's six three. Go get that. <laughs> it was it was impressive. He made it look easy. But he made it look too easy. That was impressive though. Let me see. He went and got that. Freeze it there. Oh, give me yeah. that. He went, he went and got it. it. He went and got that. We got that. Okay, I, gotta, I gotta put him what Cassius was then. I gotta put him that same range. He got it, oh, okay. D Wade. He should have had a little bit more flair. Yeah, nah, hold on. Flair. If he would have windmill that thing. No, but listen to what I'm saying. This is where you start wondering about the judges and whether they consider what they've already seen. And goes down. I mean, it's pretty, but that's an end game job. Today. He came out with a plan, Kenny. He couldn't execute it. Yeah, but you can't. Game. You can't abort the mission in a dunk contest. Yeah. You yeah, can't but, abort it. Yeah, but you also can't go four or five times. You know what we call that? The Birdman effect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But listen, Birdman, Birdman. Hey, I love Birdman. I love you. You out there listening. <laughs> He's going to the Tracy McGrady jersey. A uh, big fan of the 2000 slam dunk competition. I got a question for you, Kenny, after this dunk. Okay, Ooh, I like that. I like that'll, that. Get him, that'll get him to the next round. I had to have a plan. Yeah. I had six dunks, you seven dunks. You couldn't make it up in midair. I couldn't make him up in midair. Right. No. But Vince Carter said he had no plan. No he plan. He was like, I'm just going to. When he got out there, he felt something. I don't. Have, I didn't have that luxury. That's why I'm mad at Dominique. Because I did eight original dunks. He did five the same dunks. <laughs> and got 50s on side dunks. This anyway. right here was nice. And Anthony Simons. So I'm going to count. There yes. you go. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a 10. That's, that's a, 10. a 10. Kenny, stop it, Kenny. He wound it up. Look, he winds it up. He doesn't just go ahead and throw it in. He winds it up. That's a windmill, one-hand windmill cuff yeah. floating in the air. That's a 10. Yeah, Derrick Jones Jr. did this last year, and he got a 9. nine. Yeah, but this is this year, and this is Dominique and Spud. Who else is over there giving bad marks out? Jason Richardson, Josh oh. Smith. Oh, come on, boy. Let's go. Get up. Get up for New York City. Okay. That's an eight and a half. He about to... It's over. Watch no, what no. Anthony do. It's That's over nice, right though. Now. That's nice. What did he take off? They One probably give him a 47, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, 47. Eight. That's an eight. Yeah, no nine. scores. No eight scores. Eight to nine. Again, no, no springs. Scores, no, Again scores. no springs. No, Vince came from the back. Oh, whoa. Hey, he's, he's playing Hobbit. Oh, he put his uh, head back.
by the rim. Uh, I mean, he put his, he kissed the he rim. He kissed it. No, if he kissed the rim, that's a 50. Oh, if I he give, kissed me, he almost okay. kissed it. He almost kissed it. He almost kissed it. Oh, this is a. I would have put a mouthpiece in and kissed yeah, it. I would have put a mouthpiece in and kissed it. That's not bad. That's that's crazy though. The that hops. looks better in slow motion. The hops. On I didn't know he get up that high. I didn't know he get up that high. He, it's in the hands of these five gentlemen and Anthony Simons. Three to two. It is Anthony, Anthony Simons. Simons. Simons yes. Anthony Simons is it, as the AT&T Slam Dunk Champion over Obi Toppin. Your 2021 AT&T Slam Dunk Champion, Anthony Simons from the Portland Trail Blazers. Once again, Allie LaForce. Anthony, congratulations. I know you were receiving a lot of advice from your teammates, including Derek Jones Jr., last year's dunk champion. What were the advice that they were giving you, and how, how much did they inspire what you pulled out off out there? Uh, basically, just told me to stay my strengths and uh, make sure you make the first dunk. You were competing against two rookies. How important was it to show them who's the boss out there? You know, I mean, just, it, all of them can jump pretty well. So, um, you know, coming into it, I just wanted to show my strengths so that I can jump up pretty high and um, be creative with the mini hoop and stuff like that. So it was fun. You also earned another $40,000 from AT&T on top of the NBA donation, and your two opponents are getting an additional $30,000 towards their HBCU, which is just incredible. How rewarding is it to be a part of something that's more than just the game? No, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, just... Um, you know, just giving back, to, especially to the HBCU community, um, you know, giving them the, the same equal opportunities as any other university. So, um, you know, I think it's a great thing. What are the nerves like going into this? You know you can jump, you know what you can do, but with your teammates watching, the world watching, and all your fans back at home, what were your nerves like? Um, pretty nervous coming in. Um, but, you know, a lot of people didn't know that I could jump pretty high, so I kind of calmed down and, um, you know, just, just show my talents. One more time for your AT&T Slam Dunk Champion, Anthony Simons.